What's going on everybody? Welcome back to g Mods World. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Madden 21 Next Gen. I'm talking Xbox Series X, PS5. We're going to jump right into it right now. I'm going to break it down for you guys to kind of understand what EA Sports is more focused on. Pretty much the realism of the game is what they're going to be attacking. Right here as we look at DK Metcalf, many of us that are playing right now on the PS4 and the Xbox One, many of us see that there are certain things that can be fixed like the wideness of the field. I know a lot of my guys that have been looking at it, they believe that EA has been shrinking the field over the couple, you know, over the last couple of years like it's getting smaller and smaller. Right here it looks like a detailed aspect of the way that he's going to be setting up out of the break to make the catch, the way that he's going to be utilizing, you know, the way his legs are, the way that he's looking at the ball. I know a lot of us have played games where dudes just catch the ball, they're not even looking at it. Some of the stuff looks kind of weird. Um, their focus seems to be primarily on relating more and more to actual NFL gameplay. So the things that you're going to be seeing right now, the rain, the way that the drops are on him, like, you know, it's going to make the feel change. It's a lot of detailed information. Uh, you know, is this the next generation? Is this as futuristic as we would like? It looks like they're heading in that direction, guys. So we're going to see as he goes and makes that catch, the toe tap. Over here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some more of this detailed information with the way that the players can just jump right in. This is what usually happens in Madden, uh, you know, right now, PS4 and Xbox One. When you go and try to make a play, there's what's called a predetermined animation, right? I do see predetermined animations in this, but it's more of a, a situation where the players are making realistic movements toward the ball. Let me explain what's going on right now. Minka Fitzpatrick, he's jumping this route, but you can see that he actually is making that initial move. It looks like the CPU is not over, you know, overwhelmingly controlling it. It's not overwhelmingly OP with CPU animations. The player movement looks more fluid. So what that's going to do is this, right? Many of us like myself, I have issue with the current state of Madden where the players just look like they just jump in there and they just do what they're doing automatically. It looks like you have to be in the right position to make the play. And I looked at this clip over and over again to kind of make sure that I understood it. It's more of a natural movement, all right? Everything that you see right here with this next gen Madden right here, um, you're gonna see a little bit more detail. Like as Aaron Rodgers comes up, you can like kind of actually see he's calling up an audible or he's checking, you know, checking the play to see what's going on. Russell Wilson running out there and seeing what's going on. We're gonna take a look at the next gen player movement. This is something that I know a lot of you guys were very, very interested. I, my, I myself right now, I think that this is gonna make it a lot better because they're trying to pinpoint it based on the way the shoulder port, the, uh, the shoulder pad aspect is of you know the receiver so everything is like fully detailed so if we try to fit a ball into a certain spot if you say you have gunslinger you're playing Madden ultimate team a lot of you guys focus on regs uh that have been recently coming to the channel you just want to play the game regularly but Madden ultimate team is what madden has become that's what it's all about these detailed informations uh that that ea is putting into it the detailed information it's going to help to get your players more open and some cards that most people don't use they'll start to use again like for instance, if Adam, Thiel if Adam Thielen's route running actually makes sense, we'll put him in the game. I haven't seen one person since his cards have been available in Mutt, anybody use his card. But if the detail route running corresponds to the next gen stats of how he gets open in real football, he's gonna be more likely to get open in different coverages and it won't be the same normal uh, situation of everybody using the same players. You can now use a player that you like, all right? Now imagine this right here, right? Landry. They're gonna use Landry, OBJ is out for the season, so obviously they made this trailer after that was you know, done already, so they're gonna be focusing right now on Landry. When he's going over here running this zig, right, and you see the way that his feet are in the actual turf, that timing and the way that the actual defender responds to it is gonna be completely different than what we're used to right now uh, with the current gen Madden. So what does that mean? It means that we're gonna have to really even focus more on the route running aspects because like I said, this is the first year in the last three years that I actually care about route running. Like if you don't have a decent medium route or a decent deep route running, your player just doesn't get open. They've been trying to implement it into the game for a long time. This year, I believe that they've been the most successful. I don't know, you guys leave your feedback and let me know. Do you feel that you need to have players that have suitable route running this year more than any other year? Please let me know in the comments because bro, I'm telling you right now, 
I did not care about route, uh, route running over the last four or five years. So now obviously we go to uh, Mike Thomas, who's gonna have a hard time right now without his quarterback being there. Hopefully Drew Brees can uh, you know get it, you know go again and rehab uh, very very quickly. He does have a collapsed lung and some bruised ribs, so I don't know how soon he'll be able to get back. But maybe he'll be back for the playoffs. They were estimating like two to three weeks. I don't know you know what kind of doctors he's using, but if he can come back. That's going to give the Saints a chance in the playoffs against the Bucs. But we'll get to that uh, later on. But this is the situation, right? When you kind of understand exactly the way that Mike Thomas runs his routes, he's more of a, sh a short route runner that gets open underneath and then takes it for six. Obviously, he's been doing wild things on the field, like beating up his teammates and stuff. He's been suspended. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he is one of the premier wide receivers in the National Football League. So that animation you just saw, that animation has actually been in matter for the last couple years. But like I said, with the way that they've tried to change it up, it goes based on the way that he actually runs the route. So if you put yourself in position for certain things, you look like it looks like we'll be able to more or less control more, you know, the actual player movement. That has yet to be seen. That's another animation that we just saw right there where he's catching the ball falling down. Those things are gonna still be in the game for those of you guys that are you know, you know, know, wondering exactly what's going on. Now, as far as defense, this animation right here, the SWAT ball, they focused more on the actual analytics of the NFL. Now, that can be dangerous because right now, many of us that you know hit stick quarterbacks and we're trying to get a fumble, we cannot get that fumble. So many people are very upset about that, but if they're looking and detailing it towards the analytics, uh, the way that they're doing it with the sacks right now, you're gonna get sacks rarely, continuously in the next gen Madden, but not only that, the players are gonna react based on what they would have actually reacted uh, in real life. Like they will actually, you know, it's more likely that Jalen Ramsey will make that play than a regular average corner that's in the game. Now remember, it's going to vary with Madden Ultimate Team. Right now, we're looking at Reg's gameplay, guys. So I want to keep you guys informed with it. That's why, you know, some of you guys were asking me to break down the trailer. What did I think about it? I want you guys to understand there are going to be differences in the game. Remember, let's flash back to Madden 25. Remember that Adrian Peterson on the cover? You know, when, when they did it for the next gen at that time, PS4 was the next gen. They changed certain things. And the reason in behind changing it is because now they have more capability with the new engine and graphically they can do other things. I wanted to point this out right here. The leapfrog ability, um, it's been kind of a thing where when, when it first came out, it was more of a gimmick. People laughed at it like, yo, why is this guy jumping around like Mario Brothers, right? If they bring it back properly, it may make sense. The thing that I don't like is that Zeke is like a fullback now. The dude hasn't met a hamburger he didn't like. He's moving around like, he don't got the burst, dude. So I don't know, look, Cowboy fans, don't get mad at me. I don't think that this guy can jump like that right now. That's just my opinion. Is it the truth? I don't know, dude. The dude's not really doing anything. So finally, we go ahead and we get down to the crux of everything. The next gen stats, right? You're gonna be able to specifically, specifically see the time that it took for you to throw in the replays, you're gonna be able to see how far the ball travels. For those of you guys that know what that actual ability is, uh, Bazooka, we have always been asking, do we really get that additional 15 yards? Are we really getting that extra boost? Now we'll be able to see that. So that's gonna be kinda, I, I just wanna see if what they are doing is going to make sense for us to understand more about the game. Now, this game is gonna be available on December 4th. I'm not sure right now what my stance is, if I'm gonna get it, what's going on. It all depends. I gotta see a little bit more about it, but looking at the trailer, it looks like what I thought was gonna happen. They're gonna go further into implementing what the real NFL does. So you're gonna drop interceptions based on the ratio of that. It's all next gen stats. So that's very, very important that you guys understand that. Star driven play calling. You're gonna be able to easily go out there and pick plays for your star players and just know that that's gonna be the primary target and that player is gonna get open. I wanted to go ahead and um, bring up this play that they brought back again, uh, the Jet Chip Wasp, because we heard Tyreek Hill talk about that, um, you know, pretty much in the Super Bowl, they ran that. But it's gonna be very, very exciting to see the way that these things can be broken down. And I can't wait to share that information with you as EA Sports goes ahead and releases it. I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for joining me right now. I will be back with more Madden 21 Ultimate Team content to keep your teams going the way that we always have. Let me know your feedback about what you think about the trailer. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.